Previously, we discussed the ways in which austerity measures are harmful to economic growth. Today, let's look at the other side of a truly balanced federal budget. Not cuts, but revenue. Taxes collected from wealthy multinational corporations and invested in public services could benefit all Canadians. Corporate taxes in Canada, however, are currently extremely low. In fact, Canada's corporate tax rate is the lowest of all G8 nations, including the United States. This tax rate is the result of a rapid decrease over the course of 15 years, from 28% in 2000 to 15% today. The low corporate tax rate takes its toll on government revenue even when profits are high. For example, the government's federal corporate tax revenues for 2013 were 17% lower than they were in 2008 even though corporate profits were 15% higher. It is estimated that every 1% decrease in the corporate tax rate equals $2 billion of lost corporate tax revenue per year. Canadian tax policies favor corporate interests in other ways too. For example, unlike other G8 nations, Canada does not have a financial transactions tax. A financial transaction tax taxes transactions between financial institutions to generate revenue. It does not apply to normal financial activities of citizens and businesses, such as personal loans, payments, insurance, or bank deposits. It's estimated that a financial transactions tax at the low rate of 0.5% would generate an estimated $5 billion a year in government revenues. Altogether, this lost revenue equals billions of dollars that could have been spent on quality public services that Canadians deserve, like healthcare, education, and food safety. The usual justification for low corporate tax rates is that businesses will use that additional revenue to create jobs, but this simply isn't the case. Recent research in Canada shows that the decrease in corporate tax rates did not see a corresponding increase in jobs, just a 20% increase in executive and shareholder dividends. Canadian corporate holdings were approximately $630 billion at the end of 2014's first quarter Yet current trends in employment show small and medium-sized businesses, not multinational corporations, employ two-thirds of Canada's private sector workforce. When we look at employment rates, it's important to look to the future and consider the youth unemployment rate as well. Youth unemployment is a global issue, with an estimated 12.6% of the world's youth population unemployed. Canada's rate, though, is even higher, with 14.3% of Canadian youth unemployed double the national rate of 7.2%. That is the biggest gap between youth and adult unemployment rates in almost 40 years. These numbers simply are not sustainable, especially with an aging population that will require resources for pensions and health care. So what's the solution? The natural conclusion would be to boost the economy by moderately increasing corporate tax rates and using the revenue to invest in public spending. For the Funding Democracy Summit, we've lined up renowned speakers from business, labor, and government to come together and discuss how we can put progressive policies, like fair tax reform, into practice for the benefit of all Canadians. The FI community is an integral part of that conversation. If you haven't already, register your attendance at www.fundingdemocracy.com.